You guys could totally see that vlog that I posted yesterday of my mom actually cutting it. So it was really scary because it was my mom and I didn't know if she was going to like do amazing, but she did. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to be doing some DIY Valentine's Day phone cases that could totally work as gifts or you could just keep them for yourself because I mean, they're really cute. They're like the most simplest cases I've ever made, so you should totally make them. I really like the cases that I bought down below. I got them from Amazon. I'm really excited to make these DIYs, so let's just get straight on with the video. For the first phone case, you will need a white case with a gold strip on the bottom, some colorful nail polish, and any kind of tape. I just used scotch tape. Masking tape would also work. So I started by taping the gold because I didn't want any color to get onto the gold, so it's like nice. Unfortunately, there ended up being a little bit of paint on there, but I think it's because of the tape I used. Then just take some nail polish color of your choice and do like, just literally just pour it onto your case and then lift your phone case up and let it drip down. It takes a while to drip, but in the end it looks so cool and you can do so many different colors. And these were literally just things I had at my house except like the case. But I had so much nail polish that I never used and I was like, let's put this to good use. Then I had this pretty sparkly blue and I just love how this turned out. It looks like a water marble, like avalanche. I don't know. I just think it looks really cool. Once it is completely dry with all your pretty colors, you can peel off the tape. As you can see, I had some things go through the tape, which was disappointing, but it still looks so cute! For the next case, you'll need a clear case, some pretty paints, some stick-on letters, I got mine at Michael's, and some paintbrushes. First start by laying out all of your paint onto a really old paint platter and then flip your phone case over because you don't want the paint to chip off. So like basically you're painting on the inside of the case. And then with the paintbrush, I just made some sloppy brush strokes. I've seen this type of case like all over everywhere, like even at Target. And this just is like really fun. You can do whatever you want and flip around the case so you can like get the perfect paintbrush. I did a dark pink, a light pink, purple, I mean not purple yellow and blue and I think the colors looked really good together. The next part is super fun because you can totally customize it however you want. So if you're making this for a friend, then you can use the sticky letters and you can write down like your name or their name or whatever you really want or you could do like a quote. You would need smaller letters for that. But I decided to do my name because I wanted to keep this case. <laughs> that sounds really funny. But yeah, I think it in the end, like it looks so pretty. These letters were bought from Michaels and the case just looks so good and colorful and I'm obsessed. For the next case, you'll need a pink clear case. I accidentally got mine in the wrong size, but I'm still going to make the DIY for you guys. Some paint brushes and some paint. So you can see my phone is the wrong size. It's so sad. So all you're going to do is paint on a bunch of tiny little sprinkles. And like that's it. The cool thing about these cases is that they're like silicone. So if you mess up with the paint, you can literally wipe it off because I already had to do that. So yeah, just do a bunch of colorful sprinkles. I think this looks so cute. You can totally customize it however you like. <laughs> I walk in like a timepiece. I go straight to VIP. I never. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And